Always make sure when the battery gets low and it put it back quick. Yes, you can uh, let it get back uh, by itself just yeah, on that button. Yeah, exactly. Then it flies back itself, lands itself. Uh, when the battery gets too low, before the battery gets damaged or something, the drone will land itself, but on the spot. So always make sure that you're already on solid ground before the battery gets too low. Otherwise, it will. Yeah. Ah. No, no. no just a sense. This is a camera. Yeah. With a three axis. Yeah. Three hundred sixty degrees. And this is a, a real sense technology from from Intel. Yeah. Um, which makes it possible for the drone um, not even to avoid um, objects. Um, well, you can actually dodge it. Yeah, they recognize it and then manage to dodge it. And this, this, this so one, not this one. Yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, if that was a 3D camera, like a stereo camera in front of you, that would be awesome. Because that way the pilot could fly. Yeah. And then uh, one prop gets damaged, uh, but then you can still bring it down safely. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Have you got any uh, pictures that you shot on it? Is that shot on this distance? Uh, no, this is actually shot with our very big one, with the biggest one. Um, I don't know if we have videos. be shown in their entirety. The difficulty then is when you want to put lights in to emphasize a certain area or the whole room. Of course as soon as you start to put a light further back where they're pushed forward to position number four. The pro heads have got a slightly longer barrel so you can go from position four to position ten and these have got go from position four to position nine. Bring us a little bit of light in the background. Okay, cool. So, can it use, like I said before, our white OCF beauty dish. Let's just attach this one on the front. You know, the other good thing about this, guys, as well, is that these have LED modeling lights. So no more burnt fingers. Using it like this with the two heads, it will split the power evenly between the two of them. I don't really want that right now because 
I want to, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we could do with a little bit more light on your face, right? Just a little bit. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch into manual and turn Some people are doing what they're doing.
type mum kind of got into photography and I can't quite believe the last seven to eight years and I think quite a lot of people um, quite like to know that there is a route into professional photography like that um, which means I didn't do a degree in photography in fact I don't have a, um, a photography qualification to my name and this is something I'm absolutely fine with um, I'm not sure of the necessary value of them. I've never once been asked by any of my clients if I do have a qualification. Um, so it's just about standing here and saying to you, that's fine. Here's our um, image, which was actually shot. It's quite um, an important image for me and I think we all have images in our photographic journey. And this one was one that I shot uh, two days after I spent time. side of the cheeks here okay and look at how that lighting flattens out now granted this fill light here and that sort of thing but on our eyes are adjusting for the exposure and the lighting as well but just come forth me again watch it again she comes forward slowly that's it okay so it becomes a lot brighter on the front and drops off i take a meter reading here just say it's 5.6 okay and i take a light meter reading here and on the back of the head it's probably going to be maybe a third of a stop less okay Maybe even more than that, which is that, which is this close. When she's back here, and I do the same thing, I take a light meter reading here, and a light meter reading here, it's probably going to be no difference at all, probably not even a tenth of a stop, because the, the difference now, when you even think about it as a percentage, it, you know, it's, it's just tiny, it's minimal. So that's, it's flattened out the exposure on the face. Bringing, bringing your model nice and close to your modifier like this adds depth. Yeah, 
That's great. Thanks very much. <laughs> I thought it was proper pro. It was like, I rehearsed a bit. I, was, I fell asleep last night, like, and I couldn't turn off my head. It was like wearing through, like, what, how I was going to tie things together and talk. And, but I guess I'm kind of I, keeping it sort of slow and not too fast paced. Yeah, helps, trying to yeah. slow down a bit. And uh, yeah, I think I, I think I need to be, relax a bit more into it. I felt like it was a bit saying, but. Yeah, it's the beginning. I don't know how you do it, like just travelling constantly and just the uh, volume of videos. Uh, it's exhausting, but I still love it. I know, I know people like Casey and Ben Brown have kind of stopped vlogging now. Um, well, regular vlogging, just because it's become, they haven't they've stopped enjoying it, you know. But I, I think it's more about just slightly shifting things for me. So like, I've just taken three days off when I got back from Mexico. I, I deliberately got behind on my vlog, so I was like uploaded every other day for a couple of days. So just like as long as I take a bit of time just to find balance tomorrow I just need to rest up for most of the day sitting down's awesome isn't it yeah. you're so, not back no I think we're going to shoot off tonight I'm tempted um, Sony hosted, hosted me like invited me up so I have got a room tonight and I could go back tomorrow but I don't know so I think I'm going to just warn you I'm sure what's been your highlight today as well I mean, literally, it has